All right, so we now have our basket and our barrel. Basically what I had done, uh, I'm gonna do, I think it's uh, easier, this, since this is gonna be the only time we're gonna be ever cutting into the barrel. Uh, the barrel gives you lines right here, and here I highlighted them in black also. And so it gives you the perfect center line. You don't have to find the center of this barrel at all. It's freaking awesome, it's a great way of doing it. Next, you want uh, the other thing too. You might want to put it into context too. Is this is a curved barrel, uh, curved surface? So when you cut, um, it would equal okay here, but when you get to here from this side to this side, it's going to be a little off. So the it's always safer to cut smaller because you can always take stuff away. You can't add stuff, right? So how do we find that? Well, I just <laughs> I'm not really good at math. I, in fact, I suck at math. So what I ended up doing, I figured, oh, let's just measure the circumference with a string, blah, 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 and do the math, and guess what? I just couldn't do it. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get told on how many ways to do this, but the easiest way was to measure inside to inside here because it is, if you look at it here, it's tapered in. So down here will be bigger than up here, right? And also the other thing too, this basket gives us a center line. Look, see? Perfect. I mean, everything's done for you in here, even inside here. So you basically, you would see here, here, see there's your center line. So all you got to do is rest this on your center line. You even have this right here. Look, there's your center point. Don't drill holes through it, obviously, but if you want to, that's completely up to you. So obviously we did... Uh, to trust the old calculator, seven and a half divided by two, three seventy-five. So I went ahead and drew markers on the thing. Since we're doing this right here, right? We already have our center line, so we don't have to measure seven and a half inches out. We measure from here, basically using it as a datum point center line boom from here here three and three quarters three and three quarters three and three quarters now again like i said before now i i marked them already in pencil so i'm gonna now mark them in permanent marker because once you go permanent marker it's it written in stone son so that's gonna be your hole like i said before i still believe that this is going to be, I would cut in to, like, say, a little shorter here, right here. I wouldn't cut all the way out there just, just because I don't believe the basket's going to, uh, there's going to be too much room. And then what I'm going to use to seal this in and put this in is uh, just a, some silicone that you would buy down at, like, Home Depot or something. So just basically, I'll uh, set the camera up on a tripod, obviously. Um, and I will start cutting this out. Obviously, you don't have to see the cutting out, but if you want to, and we'll go with that. So that's that's it on the measuring. I mean, it's it's pretty much done, and uh, very simple math. All right, um, I'm gonna start uh, getting the tools together to set this up and block it off so it doesn't move on me, and we'll go from there. Uh, although this does not look like a perfect circle, uh, obviously I screwed up here, but you get to see I, I did a, and then I did it with a pencil first, obviously if you can see that. But how I ended up eventually doing it, since we're making a hole here uh, right right now, right, we're gonna be making a hole in this area. So all I did was I filed down this little lip, I put a screw right there, tied a string to it to the other end. And then basically, I just created a circle. Okay, basically, just create the circle. You don't have to be that that, that you know um, finite about it. Um, permanent marker, it's okay. Uh, it obviously I used uh, look like a piece of friggin' um, looks like I used yard uh, sidewalk chalk. You can always use a smaller finite one. Remember though, you're always going to be cutting inside the circle so and then you can take some alcohol 
rubbing alcohol or something, then that'll remove it so it won't uh, interfere in the adhesion of the basket. So again, the center lines come out really, really simple. Put a screw or a, a point here so you can take your string, you measure it out. Well, what I did was I measured mine out to here to three and three quarters and then I just drew my circle. Although it's not perfect because you know it's not going to be perfect because the barrel is warped. So that's what I'm saying. Just for safety's sake, when you cut here, right, cut a little bit more inside and then cut to the line here because those are definitely going to be, these two points are definitely going to be your eight inch, uh, your, uh, your diameter of your basket, your true diameter of your basket. Down here, it may be more in. Okay, so I'm not going to film me cutting a hole. I'm just going to be using a simple saber saw. And uh, once I'm all set, the end result will come up and I'll sh we'll go from there. Okay, um, uh, as you can see, I drilled out my, I used the same one inch hole uh, that I used for the spigot. Drill it into the plug. So I use this to access the barrel. So the next time you see the video clip, I will, that hole hopefully will be cut out. So the two two by fours are basically one on either side. This is just to stop the thing from moving. Obviously it's a round object, not gonna be very easy. Just take a couple of two by fours or whatever you got, just jam them underneath each side and you should be all set. So I'm going to uh, start with my saber saw. I would suggest a fine blade. It's up to you, whatever you want. Aggressive blade, fine blade. Have at it. Run like the wind. That's entirely up to you. I just got finished cutting the first hole. Um, as you can tell, it's uh, still got some balsamic vinaigrette in there. <laughs> uh, but uh, this is why I always said uh, it's better to cut on the lighter side. So I put my basket in. Right? And it doesn't fit in all the way, which is which is good. I mean, I can now continue going out farther and farther and farther to make sure that this is going to fit as snug as I possibly want. I want this lip right here to fit snugly on this. So all I got to do is fill up a little bit of silicone in here, silicone bead in there, and I'm I'm golden. I should be all set. So I'm going to continue cutting until I make this fit. So I cut the hole out. I filed a lot of it out. As you can see, there's no black lines anymore that I did not clean. So now, notice how the basket just fits inside. The ends are going to be here. It doesn't matter if it gets exposed or not. We don't care about that. But we are just going to put a little silicone out and out here and around here. So that's it. And then now you bring it outside, clean it out. All right. And then that way you'll be able to test your spigot as well.